It's been two and a half weeks since two mass gunmen threatened both employees and customers inside El Burrito Mercado here in St. Paul. One of them stole from cash registers while the other forced people to the ground and stole their wallets and cell phones. No arrests have been made, but none of it stopped the community from showing their support tonight. Hola. You know you're a neighborhood institution when the governor Good to see you. is a fan of you. We're glad to be here at the fast food. Yes, Taco Tuesday at El Burrito Mercado is a St. Paul staple. My family spends a lot of time um, coming over here because the food is awesome. Do you have a favorite menu item? It may be on the uh, bar menu. <laughs> and Amanda Carls wasn't drinking alone. She invited the entire St. Paul Town Hall Facebook group. To just really kind of surround this business because it has been such a fixture in the community with community support. Give them a big hug at a, a time. A big hug, exactly. A hug that's appreciated now more than ever. I'm genuinely surprised. It um, has kind of it brings me you know, almost to tears it's more than a couple of times because it's been really beautiful and, and, and an affirmation of what, what I call home. You see, that's Melissa Silva Diaz and her siblings with their father, who opened El Burrito Mercado more than 40 years ago, but never witnessed a crime like they just experienced. We've been working with staff individually and whatever they need to get through it. We're here to really support you. We're glad you're in the community. Thank you. The support that we received has been really overwhelming. Well, everybody's Blessing. talking about Thank it. You. They talk about it because of the great food and everything. Oh. <laughs> so. Plenty of St. Paul officers are fans too, and Melissa says the family has faith in all of them. I feel good about what they're doing and the updates they've been giving us, um, and I, I'm hopeful. In St. Paul, I'm hopeful. Kent Erdahl, Care 11 News.